Hey guys, what's up? Pimarth right here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we went through all of World 4 that was pretty much left, save for this Bowser mission, and also got uh, World 2 completely done with the uh, Boulder Bowl mission that finally showed up. So in this episode, we're starting with Bowser's Gravity Gauntlet and finishing up World 4, and then heading into World 5, unless another comet decides to show up. So I guess we'll see then. Uh, also, while I'm going through Gravity Gauntlet right now and breaking into Bowser's Castle for the umpteenth time, <laughs> not because I'm re-recording, but because there's been so many renditions of Bowser's Castle, I'm just letting you know that this will be the last video that goes up for a week. Uh, this should be the last, anyway, if the upload schedule is going as planned, because I will be out of town from the 27th to the 3rd or 4th, I'm not sure which it is exactly. It'll be one or the other, and then I'll be able to I'll, I'll start reposting on the 3rd or 4th. But it, it will be for a week, so just letting you guys know that this will be the last day that will be up for a little while, but they will resume. So I'm just out of town, not sick or anything like that. There's an obvious comet metal. There's me burning myself. That's always fun. There's me burning myself again. That's always fun. I'm probably... Oh, no, I was going to say I'm probably dead because the gravity kind of went wonky there for a second. But like most of the Bowser missions, this is just kind of manipulating the gravity quite a bit. There's some underwater fire for you. For those of you that like fire underwater and physics not working the way they're supposed to in real life. But it's a Mario game. It makes sense for Mario. I could have hit that cheap with a spin, but I'll, I'll be nice to him. He's not doing anything wrong. Just, just hanging. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Well, I'm gonna go pick up that 1-Up if you're just gonna leave it unguarded like that. Fine. For some reason, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but, like, all the Bowser Galaxies hand out 1-Ups because, you know, they're supposed to be hard because they're, like, end-of-the-world stuff, but there's stuff in other galaxies that are harder. In my opinion, are harder. It may not necessarily be for everyone, but, like, there's other stuff in galaxies that are harder than the Bowser missions. I think there's probably one up if you fall all the way to the end of that, but we already have the common metal because it was near the start, so we know it's not that. Kind of figured one of these is a live shroom. The other one's probably either Starbits coin or one up. Survey says Starbits. Kind of expected that. Oh no, this one's got three, and I totally missed. What do you have to say? I placed some meteors here. Just grab time to break open the door. Oh, you placed them here? Thank you. How nice of you. There's two. And is that it? Yep. Looks like we're going to see Bowsy. I missed him, though. It's been a while. Everybody knows Bowser's adorable. Wait, what? Where is he? <laughs> Mario's mouth was huge right there. <laughs> Threw me off. It's all good. He's not here. No, he totally is. Hey, Bowser. I missed you, baby. What? It's you? Well, I didn't expect as much from my arch nemesis. Your time is up, Mario. Now it's pushing time. And time for my huge fist to meet your puny face. <laughs> he looks really angry. Jeez. Alright, time for another Bowser fight. He's just going straight for the punch. He's not waiting. This time you'll notice, though, that the punch makes this little ring appear, so you have to jump over it. Difficulty. It exists, we swear. I can't do anything until it drops meteors, because that's the exact same strategy as last time. There we go. I was say, you gotta do it eventually. And they will also drop rings as well, so uh, watch out for that. I figured that hit his shell and bounced off, but I guess it didn't. Cool. So same strategy, you just have to wait a little bit longer is pretty much the only difference here. Not difficult, I don't think it is anyway. Bind up, and boom! Two for two, he gets angry, what a surprise.
I feel like they should have amped up the difficulty more for the second fight, because this is not hard. So yeah, he breathes fire. And I walked into it because I was not paying attention. But it, it looks a lot worse than it actually is. Like, this is not difficult at all. If I can get over that. Nah, I didn't get it in time. Almost did. But yeah, this isn't difficult really. Like, I feel like they should have amped it up more. Like, this is a boss fight, you guys. It's supposed to be the end of World 4. Like, there's only seven worlds in the game. This is past the halfway mark. Harder than this. It's just, it's not. Yeah, do it again. Alright, what are you doing? I didn't ask you to side jump, but you did. And bonk. Right in the shoulder, and another grand star is ours. I guess he can only carry, like, one grand star at a time, because, you know, like, he lost the first one, but he was still giant, and then he lost the second one, but they shrunk him down both times. What? How? My master plan is too far along now, Mario. You can't stop me. Gwaha. You are so adorable. You think you can stop me? I'm Mario. I'm the hero of the world. Actually, no, that's Luigi. We all know it, too. I wish you could, like, long jump and get on top of that throne, but you can't. It's just decoration, I think. Maybe if somebody hacks the game with, like, a uh, moon jump where you can jump it for as long as you want, maybe then they can get up there, but, yeah, you can't make it with a normal world long jump. It's much too far away. Alas, what will you do? We'll go to World 5, that's what we'll do. Unless another comet shows up, that's what we're gonna do. I feel like we spent a long, long time in World 4, just like we did with World 3, but... That's alright. A portal of the next world opened up. 68 stars, 28 comet medals, and 854 star bits. You know, I'm actually curious because in the first Mario Galaxy there is only 121 stars. I wonder if the video count will be about the same as it is for the first half of this game where we get 121. As it will be for the first Galaxy game. That'd be kind of interesting if they were about the same amount of videos. Because so I think I made all my Galaxy videos about 25 minutes long. So it'd be kind of interesting to see if after 120 stars, they were both 16, because I think Galaxy won the 16 videos, I'm not sure if it was or not. I don't think it was, though, I think it was 18. But I think this one will take more. Alright, so this place, it looks like we might be very well protected. I'll bet you're moving right onto the enemy's home base. What do you say we drop in unannounced? Maybe the baddies will have snacks for us when we show up. Bro, the last thing you need is snacks. The last thing you need. Alright, let's hop into Space Storm Galaxy. I kind of like this one. I don't know. I Some people don't like it. Some of the missions are relatively difficult, but... I mean, it's World 5 of 7, so... They should be getting harder, as expected. So we'll start with Follow Me, Bum Bum. We just want you to blow up in front of something to let us progress, and your death will not be in vain. Yes. And here we go. Starting off with some pole stars. Very classy. This is kind of like the second star in Sky Station a little bit. That was not a brilliant idea. I was going say, can I have somewhere where I can land, please? I probably just got, yeah, I'll educate it again. Kinda saw that one coming. There's the comet medal's there. <laughs> How I didn't get hit there, I'm not sure. Almost. Okay, I gotta stop playing that risky. Because there was like multiple occasions there where I should have gotten shocked. But yeah, what you're gonna do is have this bomb bomb follow you around. Uh, he's below me under the glass while we are moving on top of the glass. Also watching out for the electricity thing as well. There you go. That one's not really especially hard. Just watch out for the electricity. If it is in your way while you're walking, just jump. 
won't change your pathway or his. You just have to jump as well. This, I believe, is where the second... Yeah, this is it, because this is where the red tops are. This is where the second gear mode will show up that and that will request something from you, and it will be one of the red ones. Would you get up there, dude? Thank you. And here we go. I think it's especially difficult in here. I like the Melty Molten Galaxy with their uh, full star path, except it was fire instead of... Oh. I was not paying attention, my bad. <laughs> I figured we were still going, I didn't think the star stopped there. I was expecting one more planet and the star beyond that, I was not expecting it to end in pull stars. My mistake. But it, it kind of reminds me of the Melty Molten Galaxy, except fire instead of electricity, where you had to go through the pull star path. So it's pretty nice, I think. That was one of the harder galaxies in Galaxy 1, and holy crap, they're everywhere! Starship Mario can now advance indeed. Opening up all the galaxies at once right there, man. We're gonna stay in Sky State or Space Storm for now, not Sky Station. Space Storm. It's not Sky Station, it's not even Skyward Sword. You're playing Ocarina for your other project. To the top of Topman's Tower. Sadly, I don't believe this is the top boss from the first Galaxy game where they gave you like three Daredevil runs against him. Not that it was really that hard. But as you can see, things have drastically sped up here, so we're gonna use the switch to slow him down, let's say. that. Make sure you time this correctly because if you get hit by the water here, then you're going to be launched off of the off of the platform and you're just going to die basically is what's going to happen. You'll have to do this in a later mission so you might as well practice it now. No, 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 don't long jump. You can actually get onto the top of this and just climb up. Or you can take the long way, either one works. There's nothing especially difficult about that long pass, so don't worry about that. Whoa, this thing's moving. This thing's moving. Alright, I guess we're going the long way. No, I don't trust that not to crush me. Alright, you know what? You need to get lost. Okay, this, I guess I'm gonna have to go through this one then. Um, what's in here? Chance cubes? One thing. I know for a fact there's not a Hungry Luma in this mission because of the t uh, the Guillermo mission. Did I just add into your coin count? I'm not sure. That's kind of strange. Hmm. That's rather bizarre. I was not expecting to see a. Uh, well, a coin thing. I was expecting chance cubes. I was almost certain they'd be chance cubes, to be honest. Well, I could have made it there, but the game didn't want me to. No, no, no. That's not gonna happen. So you have to slow these things, yeah, things down in order to get up here, obviously. I don't think you'd have to, but you know, it'd be highly beneficial to. Okay, I'm willing to bet that knocking these both into here will generate a pull star. One. These guys can only stun you by pushing you back. Oh, yeah. That, that, they can do that too. One of the little green guys just bounce on him twice. Once to stun him, and then the second one you can use him as a spring. 
was expecting a pole star, but either one works. I was actually thinking, I was like, maybe you can backflip and spin and make that? Because in the first galaxy, there was a spot that was very similar to that, that you needed to pick up five star chips and that were blue for a pole star. But that was obviously not the same thing. But I, I honestly was expecting to see that. That's alright, though. Well, clearly we have a lot of options here. Um, let's go out of order, let's say. Let's, let's not go from the back. We're going to start with Slip Sand Galaxy. I actually like Slip Sand a lot. This one's pretty cool. And we'll start with Squizzard Sandy Sinkhole. Squizzard? Squizzard. Don't you mean Squidward? No, they don't. He looks nothing like Squidward either. This is actually a boss fight right here, and you'll have to do a Daredevil comment of this later, so... This one's reminiscent of uh, World Aid in Mario 64, except not near as bad, like not even close. As w I just recently let's played Mario 64, for those of you that watched it, you know there were like, there's just insta-kill quicksand everywhere in that stage. But this stuff will not kill you, in fact you actually need it to... Hey, I actually didn't get hit right there, I'm kind of surprised by that, in order to progress forward. No, oh, no star bits, I was honestly expecting them. That's okay, though. Thank you. I'll use that to take a ride instead of it pushing me off the side there. Yeah, a lot of this stuff can be skipped using the long jump, which is kind of nice if you feel like it's taking too long. There's a talent medal. There's a fire flower. I don't think this is required for anything. I'm pretty sure it's just this one up up here. And getting one of these enemies, obviously. But if you light both these torches here, I know it gives you a one up. Yep, there it is. So make sure that you don't get crushed by the blocks here, because that's obviously why they're moving in that pathway that they are. So make sure you avoid that. Let's continue. This is probably my favorite part of the level right here, like, this is pretty cool. I'm actually gonna be quiet, well, no, it won't matter, because the... Actually, no, I'll, I'll go ahead and be quiet, I was gonna say it's gonna be too quiet for that, but it's only gonna be quiet on my end right now, so... I'll be quiet for a minute while I'm dodging these and just let you hear the music. Yeah, the music's pretty cool for this one. I like it anyway. Coin, star bit, star bit. I like that little area down there. That's just kind of a nice little touch right there. There's the Luma Shop if you want it. I don't think I'll need it for this guy. Plus, there's a Daredevil anyway, so I might as well get the practice in with three elves instead of six. But here's our boss. This is Squizzard. Yeah, like I said, looks nothing like Squidward at all. So the sandy sinkhole of sorts is this little thing right here. Obviously, you don't want to fall into the center of that. But this is not incredibly difficult of a boss at all. Just whenever he's got his mouth open, just hit him once with a fireball and he'll be stunned and then just go crazy. Once he's been hit enough, he'll obviously, you know, take enough damage for the quote-unquote first hit and then you continue on. Remember, the fireball does have a time limit on it, so... It's also very hard to jump and spin to get out of that, so... Like an actual sinkhole, you probably don't want to get too close to the center of it, because it's kind of hard to get out once you do. Though it's not really... It really is more of a quicksand pit than it is a sinkhole, because sinkholes are kind of stuff that where it's just ground that just collapses all at once. Really. Whereas this has already been collapsed, and once it's collapsed, the real damage is done. That's why it does so much damage to, like, buildings and streets and whatnot. It's because it's so sudden, it just takes out a huge chunk of whatever is there. So it really is more of a quicksand pit, but whatever. 
Uh, that is not reachable, my friend. Oh, okay, never mind. So <laughs> say that is much too high for Spring or even Cloud Mario to get. And there we go. Got ourselves a bright, shiny star. So are any comments or challenges going to appear, or are we continuing through Slipsand? I kind of hope we're continuing through Slipsand, to be honest with you. 30. Over a thousand star bits. Another one up for coins. And cool, nothing appeared, so we can keep going through Slipsand. Awesome. Well, I'm not going in a straight line, I do try to make sure I can knock out an entire galaxy in one run so I'm not bouncing around like crazy. Because, for me, that is a little bit ridiculous, but maybe that's just me. Sailing the Sandy Seas. For some reason, that title reminds me of Skyward Sword. Like, you know, the part with the sand ship, and anywhere around that area where whenever time goes back to the past, it's all water, but in the present, it's sand. I wasn't a big fan of that dungeon, but the mechanic, I love. That mechanic was pretty awesome. Hi, Luigi. Hey. You want to take over for a little while? Uh, you may not be the best for this mission, but sure. Yeah. Been a while for Luigi, hadn't it? So, might as well. Because I ignored him in an earlier episode that I recorded while I was, or just before recording this one, so I really should. Yeah. Let's head down here. Because this is actually where we need to go. So the gravity here is kind of like a Bowser mission. It's really bizarre. <laughs> I didn't think it was actually going to count that. I figured I was going to get hit right there. But it kind of functions like a Bowser level, but not quite. The gravity is in whichever direction that you move on a curved platform, which is probably why it's weird. But... It's just bizarre. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to do that. Okay, um... Am I just supposed to get... Oh, no, no, I'm supposed to go in that pipe. Okay, I didn't even see it. I was like, what exactly am I supposed to be doing here? Yeah, see how the gravity changed for me to get there? That's why. Okay, that, that completely threw me, to be honest. I didn't even see that uh, orange-brown pipe over there. Stop it. Dry bones. Screw that, I'm out here. Danger, don't fall. Oops. Really, I hadn't guessed by the sign that's got the skull and crossbones on it. But yeah, this is actually insta-kill quicksand like in Mario 64. And other parts of this stage, to be perfectly honest. But kind of a throwback to not only that stage, but even the sandbird from Super Mario Sunshine, for those of you that really know your Mario. Get out of here. So, as the sandbird gets hit by the cactus and fireballs and other obstacles like that, it will lose part of the bird itself temporarily. Since Luigi's got slippery shoes, you can understand why I said maybe he's not the best person for this. I think Mario would have been a better choice, but that's okay. If you can get rid of the Magic Koopas, do it. They're annoying. In case you haven't figured that out already, the Magic Koopas are very annoying. I have to speed up here, but at least I get a coin back, so I'm not going to die from a cactus. If you stand in the right spots, though, you'll have no problem. It's not like they're going to completely take away the Sandbird at, sand at any given point. You'll have points where most of it's gone, like right here, but never a point where it's completely gone. Yeah, that's Oh, great, it's you. Come back for revenge, I see. What? I jumped! I jumped! I know I jumped. There's a giant button that says A on it. I know I jumped. <sighs> this is gonna be the last start anyway. Let's not make it run really, really long just because I can't get past something like the jump button not working. The controller is perfectly fine, it's not broken or damaged or anything. Die, you. They drop coins, so if, they, if one of them actually drops the coin on the sandbird, you can pick it up. If they don't, then they don't. Die. And kill. I'm gonna wait. Then. 
I pressed A. You and your slippery shoes, Luigi. My gosh, I should have stuck with Mario. And not just because I don't like Luigi. I do like Luigi more than Mario, but my gosh, is he a bad candidate for the star. Like, there are some stars that he is much better at getting than Mario because he can jump higher. And you need that reach. Or, you know, you don't need it, but it's highly recommended you have it. This is not a star that's good for Luigi to try to get. So. Not even a little. Big on you. One up. So much fun to watch them fall like that. Even though they explode before they drown. But, you know, they still go in the drink. Well, if I'm not going to be able to hit him at all, that works too. You're just really not going to let me hit any of these guys, are you? There. Not one of them, at least. Okay, I don't, I don't care about the 1-up, to be perfectly honest. I want the coin more than I want the 1-up. Just in case I accidentally hit a cactus. Because I'm pretty sure the cactus can damage you, so I don't want that to happen. There's that, now I gotta wait for the chomp again. Really, the trick is just trying to keep him going along the perimeter. For that first one, and then... I jumped! The A button works on my controller. I know for a fact it works on my controller. I'll use it right here, watch. See? Works just fine. No problems with the A button. Ah, oh, now it works, huh? I can't imagine why. Jerks. Seriously, that, there was nothing difficult about that. All the A button had to do was work, and it didn't twice in a row, right when I was near the end. Ugh. But yeah, after it knows you can just long jump to reach the star, it will go away. The silver chomp, I mean. Stupid! Don't pull your ideas from Phantom Hourglass. You know that will never end well. Never. Oy, oy, oy. That was an adventure. Yeah! Just like that kid from Wind Waker. Oh man, that was something. I don't even know what to call that. Um, well, we got it done. So, for World 5, that is um, Slip Sand, and then also that first mission, which was not Sky Station, but Space Storm. So, in the next episode, whenever I come back from that vacation, we'll be going through most of these, probably, which are the Boo Moon Galaxy, the Boo Moon, I do like Boo Moon, Upside Dizzy, which is pretty small, and then also Shiverburn which obviously is a throwback to the one that was in the first Galaxy game. You need 55 stars to get to that one. Uh, and then the episode after that, we'll do the Hungry Luma. Assuming I have enough star bits by then, which we probably will. And then we will head to Bowser Jr.'s Boom Bunker. How much is 1,500? Yeah, we're pretty close to that. We'll get it within this world. Um, so that's probably what we'll be doing over the next two or three videos. Probably two, maybe three, depending on how much we have to go back for, because there is... Still some stuff in world, uh, Worlds 3 and 4. B block in 3 and in 4... Oh, I forgot about that. I did forget about that star. I forgot that one appeared. So, we'll do, sh uh, we'll do the Starshine Beach one as well, as well as Honey Hop and Gravity Gauntlet if they show up along with B block in World 3. But, until then, we are done with this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Pip Arthroy, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Um, for those of you that did not catch it and are still watching this, I will be on break for a week. This will be the last video that's up until either the 3rd or 4th of January. So, since I'm recording this on the 21st, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday, whatever you celebrate. And if you're not celebrating anything, at least you have a break from school if you're in school. So, have a lovely break or holiday, have a wonderful new year, and I will see you guys in 2015 for the next episode. Later.